Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in the studio, I'm going to show you how to take apart an Xbox One controller. So let's go ahead and jump in the video right now. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to take apart an Xbox One controller, and I will be using this Stanley screwdriver kit. And for this, I will be using a 2mm flathead, a 2.4mm flathead right here, and finally a three millimeter flat head. So I'm gonna push this to the side. And I will be using pretty much all three of these. And you do not need a Torx 9 security screwdriver, but if you do have one, that is what the screws will be on this. So you can just use a smaller two millimeter, 2.4 millimeter flat head screwdriver just to go ahead and open up the controller. So to take the part of the controller, these back panels right here actually will pop up and we are going to want to create a little bit of separation from the top here right under the trigger and once we have our flathead kind of wedged in here we can go ahead and just pry it with the other flathead down the side here through the seam so it'll kind of look like this so i'm going to pop this open like this and then move it to the side here and just kind of stick it in there then I'm going to take the other one I'm just going to kind of go down the side here and just pry it open and you'll kind of get an understanding for how much effort you have to put into it. There's just a bunch of clips in here that are holding it on and if this is your first time doing it, just take your time. It'll come off eventually. And if you do break one of the clips, I mean there's enough clips in here where you can go ahead and just put it back on. So once you got a little bit more effort in there, it should pop up. And then just go all the way down to the bottom and go to the other side too. Once you get to this point, you can probably just rip it off and it'll come off. But otherwise, just go all the way on the bottom here, break all those little clips. And if you haven't done this before, you'll notice there's a bunch of dead skin coming out of the side of your controller. So just a heads up, that might be all over your table. So, I mean, it's pretty much the point where we can just take it off now since we broke all those clips. And this should just pop off. There we go. And this is what it looks like on one side. And let's get the other side off now. I think I'm going to go ahead and just fast forward this. So, I'm just going to go under the tr trigger here. Let's pop it up. And that's kind of how I do it. Once I have a little bit of separation, I'll put one right here probably just do it with one and if you're really good you got strong fingernails you could probably just rip, go in there with your fingernails and just take everything apart there we go that's popping off real quick now for me boom it's already off guess I didn't need to fast forward that so this is kind of what they look like on the back not much those will be very easy to put back on. So from here, I'm gonna switch over to my 2.4 millimeter flathead. I'm gonna have five screws to pretty much unscrew. Uh, it will be one here, here, in the middle right here. And this is gonna be covered up by this uh, black piece right here. Just go ahead and poke a hole through it and uh, you'll be able to see the screw on the bottom. Then here and here on the bottom so five total and like I said you're gonna be using a Torx 9 screwdriver and it's gonna to have to be the security version because there is a little bit of a metal piece in the screw that will prevent you from fully pressing your screw driver in but otherwise just this 2.4 millimeter flathead seems to work with the PlayStation 4 controller and the Xbox for me I just go ahead and stick it in here and when I'm unscrewing, I'm kind of holding the controller together just so the screw comes out a little bit easier. So press on the front and press on the back and just press towards each other and clamp it. Seems like that's a little bit easier, especially when you're putting the controller back together. All right, so this is coming out. And there's one screw, it seems like, just for me, like, I have to switch to the 2mm flathead just to be able to unscrew it. 
because I haven't broken the middle piece on the screw yet. And uh, it seems like just because it's a security screw, it's harder to get up. Otherwise, it just seems smaller. So that's why I use a 2.4 millimeter flathead and a 2.0 flathead, just because there's one screw in here. For me, I have to use the smaller flathead just to get it out. So now that you have all the screws out, go ahead and lay your controller flat just like this and just lift up and the back will come out. And this is what the back will look like. And you can also lift it from the front shell too. So you got your front shell here and then your back shell. This is what it will look like on just the circuit board, I guess. You can flip around, you'll be able to see your thumbnails and these may pop out. You may want to hold them when you're flipping it over. So here's all the buttons on the front. You can see how it looks. Now I'm gonna show you how to put this together again. This will be very easy also. So let's take our shell and put it back on like this and just feed through the thumbsticks. All right, once you have it placed in there, uh, you're gonna wanna put it on the back plate here. The thing you're going to want to be concerned about is where the batteries make their connection on the left hand side and feeding it through this hole right there. So make sure you're not bending these when you're putting it on and they're in place correctly. It looks like they are. Let's go ahead and hold it now and that's when you're going to want to use the clamping technique. Just hold the front and back plate together and put in your screws. All right, so all my screws are in. The only thing you have to do now is put on these little uh, side covers, and these are very easy. Just go ahead and put it on and press down. They will snap back in. And let's do the other side that's in. And now your controller is put together. And my thumbstick is working now, too. I went ahead and fixed that during this process. So if this video did indeed help you take apart your Xbox One controller, go ahead and leave it a thumbs up. And subscribe to your six studios down below for more tech help tips coming up next on your six studios.